What is going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be overviewing this AOC AG27 3FZE. Yep, it's a long name. But this monodome is a 27 inch, 240 hertz monitor. So it's 27 inch, 240 hertz, also 0.5 millisecond response time. But it's 0.5 millisecond MPRT, which means that it's, it's actually a 1 millisecond GTG monitor. Also, this monitor is packed uh, of an IPS panel. Alright, an IPS panel. So, okay, and it's relatively cheap. 400 Australian dollars for all that. Wow, that is just amazing. Um, also, it's also got HDR as well. Well, but firstly, firstly, uh, yeah, as you guys can already hear, um, <laughs> looking at the specs, you can already say that it's a really good model. But let's just overview it real quick. All right. So first of all, you guys can see um, the bezels. I mean, honestly, it's not it's not the thinnest bezels. It's it's it, it, it's all right. It's, it's just all right. It's not it's not the thinnest bezel. Yeah, compared to my. Uh, ViewSonic, which I use as my secondary monitor for uh, video editing and Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, or just media consumption. I, I use this one instead because it's, it is a 1440p, 32 inch uh, IPS. And this one, noticeably, also both of these are IPS. This one has a much better color accuracy. And everything just looks so much more vivid. Uh, not vivid, like this just looks more accurate. Just it's, it's just better, like in general. This one, it's good. The viewing angle, not too bad. Um, honestly, it's it's good. And also, uh, let's just overview this real quick. Um, also, the, this monitor have a control. Comes with a control. You can control, change your settings. There's also light effects. Um, you can change, change to a strong light effect. It's at the back of the monitor, so I'll, I'll show you that real quick. Um, okay. There you go. Um, so yeah. I don't, uh, honestly, uh, you can't see it. For the most part, you cannot see it. So, because your monitor, you do not look at the back of your monitor. You look at the front, right? Look at the front. So that's really, really no point. You're just wasting your your electricity more. So I recommend just turn it off, honestly. Uh, also, if you guys want to copy my settings, if you guys do you have the monitor, then sure I'll let you copy. Um, game settings. Game mode off, shadow control 50, game color 10, G-Sync is on, but I turn it off on, on my PC settings, overdrive is medium, low black is on, quick switch LED is on, frame counter is off, and luminance, yeah, you can look at that, copy, I think, I think this setting looks, uh, it's, it's though it makes the the monitor looks the color looks more accurate, but honestly, this one is not it's not the most accurate color accurate monitor. It's understandable since most gaming monitors have PN panels, um, and the color accuracy and the viewing angle is so bad. This one, it's better. It's having compared to a graphics monitor like that. That one with the Sonic VX3276. Can't compare, honestly. But if if you're doing content creation at this 
normal level uh, and stuff. Um, you s you just it's, it's not like it's not like your your main purpose. And it, I know with two hundred forty hertz, all right, two hundred forty hertz. So the main purpose of this monitor is it's because of the two hundred and forty hertz. Anna. 240 hertz is so much smoother. It is so much smoother than uh, than 60 hertz, 75 hertz. It's it's it is still smoother than 144 hertz, obviously. But um, yeah, it's, it's noticeable, but not a huge difference. But yeah, it's, but still, it's 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 super fast. I play be playing Rocket League on this monitor, honestly. It's just amazing, it's an incredible experience for gaming. Definitely better than that, for sure, because that's a 1440p, 75 hertz. Um, and this one, uh, 240 hertz. Though the resolution is lower, I can tell. 1080p on, on um, 27 inch, Actually, honestly it doesn't look too bad. It's just not as crispy as a 1440p, but it's understandable. And yeah. Um, and honestly, I think for 400 dollars, it's it's uh, 400 Australian dollars. It's pretty good. Man. Uh, not much to complain about. Maybe the the feet, the monitors, feet or stand. The stand of the monitor is too big, honestly, taking up, taking up too much space. Um, so yeah, it's kind of taking up too much space. So. Uh, but tilting and stuff, you got you got height adjustment, you got swivel. So yeah, so it's, it's not bad. It's got all the features you need in terms of um, got most features you need. Um, so who's this monitor for? It definitely is someone who are into competitive games. Um, yeah, and yeah, yeah, anyone who's in competitive games. Um, but if, if if you play things like AAA games, then I, I, I would prefer getting a 1440p monitor instead. And and just get a lower refresh rate, like 144 hertz at max, because honestly, in AAA games, they are not meant to run at 240 hertz, and <laughs> I don't think there's any PC that could provide a 240 FPS experience in AAA titles like Cyberpunk and stuff like that. So yeah, but um, if you um. They play esports titles, Rocket League, CSGO, um, Valorant, then just, just get the 240 hits monitor. This monitor is yeah, honestly it's, it's it's great. And yeah. And also also I forgot to mention monitor also got a the screen shield as well so so that you could uh, you could use it for example uh, if there's a sun coming to your room then the sun is like shining inside your room then you could, you could use the uh, screen shield here honestly honestly it's Pretty convenient, honestly. Sometimes when, when the sun like shining through my room, so much glare. Oh, this morning it's anti glare, but, but, but like it's still annoying. Like the sun, it's, 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 it's like you know, it's just it's, it's, it's still hard to see. It's still hard to see things. It's not really clear, so I can use this and get a really good experience on gaming. Honestly, it's. It's been amazing. Um, so, so yeah, 
that's, that's, that was just a, a quick overview of this mono though, with the features it had, and and honestly, 400 Australian dollars, you're gonna get 27 inch, 1080p, IPS, 240 hz HDR, um, with the screen shield, if, if you want to put it on, uh, G-Sync, compatible, um, what else, what else? Yeah, that's it. So that's just incredible. Oh, also zero, uh, 0 0.5 millisecond NPRT response time as well. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.